In this video, we'll explain how to terminate a Panduit 50 micron multi-mode LC connector onto a 900 micron tight buffered pigtail cable using a Panduit OptiCam 2 termination tool. This video is divided into chapters so we can explore each step of the termination process, including how to set up the OptiCam 2 tool, clean the components, prepare the fiber, and terminate the fiber. The steps for terminating a 50 micron multimode, 62.5 micron multimode, and a 9 micron single mode connector are the same, except that they use different launch cords and tool settings. Please refer to the FS132D Opticom 2 Quick Start Guide to verify the correct launch cord and termination tool settings for each connector. For this termination, you will need a 50 micron multimode LC connector, a 900 micron tight buffered cable, an orange 1.25 millimeter launch cord, and an LC cradle. To ensure a proper termination, there are several components that need to be cleaned and configured. Quality connections between fiber optic equipment require clean components. Dirty components are the number one cause of both latency in fiber optic networks and product returns. The first step is to clean and set up the OptiCam 2 tool. Wipe all dust and particles off the aperture window using a dry, lint-free cloth. Once the tool is clean, we need to make sure the settings on the tool match your connector and desired setup. Push the navigation button on the OptiCam 2 to turn on the screen. Enter the setup mode by clicking on the three dot ellipses in the top right corner of the screen. Select the correct settings for your desired termination. In this example, the multimode 50 and LC in the connector type settings and right in the orientation settings are selected to indicate a 50 micron multimode LC connector using a right-handed setup. Note, always be sure to go into the setup menu and power down the tool when not in use to conserve battery life. Click the save icon. Next, install the black LC cradle. For a right-handed termination, orient the cradle so that the arrow points to the right. Place the cradle on top of the aperture window so it magnetically snaps into place. For a left-handed termination, orient the cradle so that the arrow points to the left. Note, if you are doing a left-handed termination, be sure to change your settings on the tool to the left. Once the tool is clean and the settings are correct, it is time to clean and install the launch cord. It is vital to clean both ends of the launch cord every 50 to 60 terminations. To clean the launch cord, remove the adapter and alignment sleeve. Using an approved wipe and cleaning solution, clean the ferrule end face by running it from the wet portion to the dry portion of the wipe. Pre-saturated cleaning wipes are not recommended. Replace the alignment sleeve, checking to make sure it is not cracked or chipped. Replace the adapter and ensure it is hand tight. Next, remove the dust cap from the other end of the launch cord. Using an approved wipe and cleaning solution, Clean the ferrule end face by running it from the wet portion to the dry portion of the wipe. Again, pre-saturated cleaning wipes are not recommended. To install the launch cord, insert the connector end of the launch cord into the port on the top of the OptiCam tool. Insert the metal adapter end of the launch cord into the cradle. The adapter end of the LC launch cord has two indentations that will allow it to snap into the cradle. It is vital to ensure the circular aperture on the adapter faces down towards the tool. Once snapped into place, the launch cord should toggle freely. Next, we'll clean and install the connector. It's important to clean the connector even if it's in a factory sealed package as it could still be contaminated. To clean the connector, remove the dust cap from the connector ferrule. Clean the ferrule end face with an approved wipe and cleaning solution by dragging it across the wipe from the wet portion to the dry portion of the cloth. Insert the ferrule end of the connector into the adapter and snap the connector into the cradle. Now that we have cleaned the components and set up the tool, it's time to prepare the fiber. Whenever you handle fiber, the first thing you should do is put on safety glasses with side shields. The next thing you should do is place a piece of tape on your work area with the sticky side facing up. 
This tape will help you maintain a clean and safe work environment by containing any broken fiber shards. This is extremely important because unlike metal or wood splinters, the body cannot reject glass splinters. Glass splinters work their way into the human body and must be surgically removed. Begin by inserting the fiber cable into the narrow end of the boot. Slide the boot back along the cable to keep it out of the way for now. The boot prevents the bend radius of the fiber cable from being exceeded. The boot must be installed first. You will not be able to slide the boot on once the connector is installed. Next, use the LC stripping template card that is provided with every OptiCam kit to mark the fiber. The first mark is the stripping mark, which will indicate how much of the buffer should be removed. Lay the fiber strand on the LC stripping template. Make a stripping mark on the buffer 1.18 inches or 30 millimeters from the end of the fiber strand. The second mark is the insertion mark, which will indicate how far the fiber should be inserted into the connector. Make an insertion mark on the buffer 0.59 inches or 15 millimeters to the left of the stripping mark. Use your strippers to remove the buffer. Place your strippers at 5 to 10 millimeters from the end of the fiber. Use short increments to strip the buffer and acrylate down to bare fiber 5 to 10 millimeters at a time all the way to the stripping mark. Once a buffer is stripped, use an approved wipe and cleaning solution to clean any dust, residue, or debris from the bare fiber. Pre-saturated wipes are not recommended. The next step is to cleave the bare fiber so that it is exactly 7 millimeters long. Panduit offers two different cleavers, FJQ-CVR and FSP-CVR. Panduit's FJQ-CVR cleaver is a manual device. Press the handle on the back of the cleaver to lift the grip. Slide the bare fiber through the V-groove until the end of the buffer sits at the 7 mm mark. Release the handle so the grip lowers onto the fiber, holding it in place. Keep the fiber taut and gently but firmly press the blade onto the fiber once and only once to score the fiber. Note, if you do not score the fiber hard enough, the fiber will not snap. If you score the fiber too hard, it could cause damage to the end face. Bend the tongue until the fiber snaps. Panduit's FSP CVR cleaver is an automated device. Open the lid and press the silver metal square found on the right side of the cleaver until the blade locks in place on the far left side of the cleave area. Advance the fiber in the rightmost groove until the end of the buffer sits at the front edge of the black pad, which is aligned to the 7 mm mark on the right. Close the lid to complete the cleave. The FSP CVR tool safely contains the broken fiber shards in a separate container that may be emptied when full. Once the fiber has been cleaved, use the LC stripping template card to verify that the fiber is 7 mm long. With the black arrow at the bottom right of the tool screen highlighted, click the black button on the tool to perform the background test to begin the process. After a moment, the tool should move to the insert fiber screen. If the tool presents a check failed message, follow the troubleshooting steps. Once the screen reads, insert fiber, Insert the fiber into the connector, ensuring that the fiber goes into the inner insertion tube of the connector. Warning, do not look directly into the rear of the connector when lining up the fiber with the insertion tube. Even though it is not visible, there is an active laser present. Gently advance the fiber until it stops, indicating it has mated with the fiber inside the connector. The insertion mark on the buffer should line up with the end of the connector and the screen should switch to a cam and test message. Maintain forward pressure on the fiber as you cam the connector by rotating the body of the connector towards you for a right-handed setup or away from you for a left-handed setup. Once the connector is fully cammed, click the main navigation button on the OptiCam tool to perform the insertion loss calculation. The tool's default pass value is 0.75 dB insertion loss, but this value can be adjusted in the tool settings if a job requires it. If the connector fails, uncam the connector by reversing the rotation and removing the fiber from the connector. Using the strip template, verify that the fiber is still 7 millimeters long. 
If any fiber has broken off in the connector, a new connector must be used. If the fiber is still 7 mm long, repeat the marking, stripping, cleaning, and cleaving steps before attempting again. Once a connector has achieved a satisfactory result on the calculated insertion loss, remove the connector from the cradle and adapter by gently pulling up on the rear of the connector. Once the connector is removed from the tool, immediately replace the dust cap on the ferrule. Then slide the boot up onto the connector. The last step is to clean out the FJQ CBR manual cleaver. After the fiber has been cleaved, the remaining broken shard of fiber will still be under the grip of the cleave tool. Hold the cleave tool over the tape very carefully and depress the grip, allowing the shard to fall onto the tape. If the shard does not fall, do not use your fingers. Use a tool to push the fiber shard onto the tape.